so today's lecture number 5 earlier up to lecture number 4 we have gone through various definitions what is elasticity what is elastic range and what is stress strain and their relationship now in today's lecture we will be solving a simple problem based on the elasticity concept as well as stress strain so you may be remembering the stress strain curve we have already gone through that mean where we have discussed what is elasticity and elastic range elastic limit and now let us go through a simple problem here we have to learn how to solve a problem that what should be our methodology what are the various things which we have to keep in mind while solving any problem now very first important point is whenever you get any numerical problem don't jump to just start solving first of all we have to understand the statement carefully and what is expected or what is demanded by the numerical and what are the details which are available in the form of a statement that mean data which is available and first of all we will be just thinking upon the statement carefully then we will start solving maybe a solving in numerical maybe just a 3 to 4 or 5 minute it will take 5 minute or it may take more than 10 minute so don't jump to start quickly there is a wrong practice that mean first of all it's a wrong practice to just uh, get the information and start solving by putting the formulas so don't just uh, rush to solve the numerical first of all we have to understand the numerical now let us take a numerical problem this is problem number 1 and later on we will be solving more problem related to different topics so first of all let us understand what is the statement given now in statement it is mentioned a mild steel bar now first of all you have to check whether it is mild steel or other type of steel because the stress strain diagram or stress strain graph which we have gone through that is particularly for mild steel so if mild steel bar is under testing then you have to keep in mind and you can recall the stress strain graph which we have discussed in detail so a mild steel bar when subjected to a tensile test now that mean we are applying tensile test we are tensile force is applied in a utm that is universal testing machine because on steel bar you can apply compressive stress as well as tensile stress so now this problem is related to tensile force that means you are applying tensile force on a steel bar member or steel bar in a universal testing machine so you are aware that in a universal testing machine first of all we put a sample of steel bar then gradually we will increase the tensile force and up to elastic limit the steel bar there may be some extension you will uh, able to draw the graph then some extension is there up to elastic limit now data obtained from this test so this much is data available first of all diameter of steel bar is given that is 3 cm gauge length of bar is 20 cm now gauge length is that portion of the bar which is subjected to tensile force load at elastic limit now it is given that maximum load where elastic limit is reached that is 250 kN so you may be remembering beyond elastic stress you will be getting the yield point so this load is 250 kN load is up to the elastic limit extension at a load of 150 kN now 
you will see here some difference that mean load one load is given up to elastic limit and below elastic limit that mean it is very much clear up to elastic limit the graph between stress and strain will be linear it is a straight line inclined straight line so it is very much clear that from a region of stress strain graph that is from 0 0 up to elastic limit graph will be a straight line inclined line and the slope of this line will remain constant and slope will be given by stress by strain that is increase in stress divided by increase in strain so that stress strain according to young according to hooke's law it will remain constant and it will give you the value of modulus of elasticity so extension which is given it is given at 150 kilo newton load that means what will be the maximum extension up to elastic limit that data is missing in the problem maximum load noted is 380 kilo newton so maximum load is 380 kilo newton that is the peak point total extension in the length of bar is 60 mm so this is the maximum extension 60 mm and diameter bar when it get filled is 2.25 now you can clearly see in the diagram diameter original diameter of the bar before extension is 3 cm and later on when it will get filled that mean when why uh, that uh, steel bar will get fractured so that time diameter is 2.25 centimeter so this is when you go through the statement carefully then you will be able to recall the stress strain graph which we have discussed now. now what we have to find out first of all young modulus that means young modulus of elasticity and you remember that the young modulus of elasticity is the ratio of stress to strain but within elastic limit second point we have to find out the stress at elastic limit so that means you have to calculate what will be the stress at the elastic limit that means what will be the maximum load at elastic limit divided by area then percentage elongation and percentage decrease in area so let us go through first of all as i i have told you that we have to go through the statement very carefully and another thing which we have to keep in mind first of all in the statement we have to check what are the unit system available that means data is available in which unit system now all the lengths are in centimeter but here extension is given in millimeter so here we have to keep in mind and load is given in kilonewton extension is given in millimeter so all these things we have to clarify now for the solution a point to find the value of younger modulus of elasticity which is the ratio of stress to strain within elastic limit that we have to calculate so for this formula will be stress by strain now what is stress load upon area of bar and what is strain extension divided by gauge length that is the original length and for calculation purpose we will be using this box separately so that we can clearly differentiate that where we are doing the calculation and where we are writing all the details so calculation first of all we have to find out cross sectional area of the steel bar so diameter is given initial diameter is given so by applying the formula pi d square by 4 you will be able to get the value now look here we have calculated the area of the bar in meter square so throughout the calculation we will be using meter as a dimension of the length as well as meter square as the dimension of the area now how to calculate stress stress is basically load upon area now you can calculate stress clearly without any confusion because load is given now load 
you here you have to use load 150 kilonewton or either you can use 250 kilonewton that is but why we are using here then if you use 250 kilonewton then that will be the stress at the elastic limit and when you have to check the modulus of elasticity that is stress upon stain then at elastic limit what is the stain that is required that means what is the extension that is required but in question you must note that extension is given at 150 kilonewton load not at 250 kilonewton load so we are finding stress here that load upon area that mean when you have to find out the modulus of elasticity modulus of elasticity i have already told that it is the slope of the stress strain graph within elastic limit so that mean you need stress as well as you need strain and to calculate strain extension is given at 150 so that means we will be calculating the slope at load of 150 or in other sense you can say we will be calculating young modulus at a load of 150 kilo newton because at 250 kilo newton we don't have the value of the extension so stress is calculated it was 150 kilo newton so we have multiplied by 10 by 3 10 raised to power 3 and this is the cross section area so we get stress is equal to 2120.9 into 10 raised to power 5 4, 4 newton per meter square so unit is matching that means we are taking meter square then strain as i have already explained you that strain extension is given at 150 so we have calculated stress at a load of 150 now strain will be change in the dimension or extension that is 0.21 now 0.21 is millimeter so that means 200 we have to take this length we have to take in millimeter but it was 20 centimeter so we have taken it 200 millimeter so this is the stain stain has no unit so it is a value 0 0.00105 now we have to calculate the young modulus of elasticity and the young modulus of elasticity is the stress by stain within elastic limit so stress we have calculated stain we have calculated so we have calculated here young modulus of elasticity that is now after calculation you will get 10 raised to power 10 newton per meter square and if you remember our pre preliminary lecture lecture 1 2 where we have discussed that in actual practices we will be using bigger units so we will be converting it into giga pascal where 1 giga is equal to 10 raised to power 9 so this will be the value modulus of elasticity or young modulus of elasticity we have calculated in giga pascal now second point is stress at elastic limit now just uh, recall your diagram stress at elastic limit mean load at elastic limit divided by area so elastic load i am saying here that is load at elastic limit that is the maximum load within elastic limit so it was 250 kilonewton so this value comes out to be 353 mega pascal c point was percentage elongation that is delta l percentage so formula you have to write that is total increase in length divided by gauge length or original length into 100 so you will get the value 30 percent so that means percentage elongation is 30 percent then percentage decrease in area because we have gone through the statement carefully that area has been decreased and how much area has been decreased before failure that we have to calculate since we have to find out percentage decrease in area that is original area minus area at failure divided by original area so you can calculate by this formula pi d square by 4 applying the formula this was 3 was original dimension original diameter 
and 2.25 was final diameter before field work so we will getting this value 43.75 percentage so this was a very uh, simple and logical type of problem here we have understood and try to correlate this problem with stress strain graph which we have already studied now you have to go through different type of similar type of problems where different type of data and given and different type of information is demanded so for this you have to practice more number of these type of problem so you can get the confidence to solve different type of problem